Greetings, ghosts and ghouls, and welcome back to another episode of Undead Gaming. I am the Undead Gamer, and today we are continuing Tormentum Dark Sorrow. Now, in the last episode, we managed to do a couple of things. We got ourselves the Storm Egg again, and we used that in order to help our sc Demented Scarecrow friend from being attacked by birds, which led us to get a bunch of the train parts and a couple of other things. We uh, then managed to get into the tomb where the, the giants were located, where there was a strange mystical cube that took us back into the past or teleported us into the castle or something, but we ended up getting a powerful artifact called the crown, which we either had to give to our rat friend or give to this lizard sage thing. We ended up giving it to the lizard because our rat friend seems to be insane. Um, so now we have most of the parts needed to get into the Karen train, but we currently, uh, what is it? We need to solve that door puzzle now. I was a little stumped and I wasn't really sure what it is that I need to do. I'm pretty sure I had missed something and I didn't want to spend an entire episode trying to comb over all the areas that I had to go through. So I did another quick check and it seems that I needed to be all the way back at the Lizard's uh, Tower. So we're going to head over there right now. And apparently there was something that I forgot to click on that was supposed to help give me the hint on how to open the train. Fantastic, huh? So gonna go back in here real quick so this right here the telescope is supposed to help me get the hint uh, I'm supposed to maneuver it I got like the bare bones of how to do these things how to do the puzzle so somehow I'm supposed to aim the telescope in such a way and it will give me the hint of what I'm supposed to be doing so we will figure that out together That's the farthest that will go there. That's the farthest up it will go. Okay, that leads into like the mountain region. And I don't see... I know the telescope is supposed to tell me, but I don't see how it's supposed to do that. To be honest. Oh, okay, there we go. A strange symbol is carved into the rock. I'll copy it. So that symbol is what I need in order to be able to solve the puzzle to get into the Karen train. So uh, let's let's get back on over there, put in, open that door, and uh, put in all the parts that we need and get moving. So we can get over to uh, whatever, I forgot the name of the town that we're trying to get to. But we need to find a statue lady thing that I need to apparently uh, absolve myself of my sins, whatever it is that my sins happen to be. Alright, so we're going to head over to the seal. Let's look at that picture again. So I'm going to assume I have to press these. So it's like a really long arm gorilla. All the way across. Head, torso, and these two. There we go. The door to the control room of the train is now open. Excellent. So we should now be able to go inside. I see you've managed to open the control room door. Ah, let me take a look inside. Let's both take a look inside, shall we? Alright, so that's the control room. Uh, do you have anything to say to me? The train is still functional, but I'll need the parts I asked you for in order to start it. First and foremost, we need the fuel cell and the ticket. Bring them to me and we can ride out of this place. Alright, well I have everything for you, so I do have the parts. Here you go. Oh, where did you find these? It was in a rock. Imagine that. It wasn't in the rock? Yeah, it was in a rock. I'll install them immediately. Alright, so all the parts are there. Here's the fuel cell. How did you manage to forge it? Uh, it's a long story. The metal used for creating it is very rare, and therefore very valuable. Alright, and then finally, here's my ticket. The ticket's in good shape. Let's just hope the route is still decipherable. Alright, so, uh, all aboard? I can start the train now. All aboard! Full steam ahead. Next stop, Frozen Tears. All right, Frozen Tears is the uh, the name of the town we're going to. All right, it's all aboard. My efforts paid off. I had finally managed to leave that horrid place. As my journey continued, I kept being haunted in my dreams by the same image of a sculpture with hands rising toward the sky. I was suddenly awakened by piercing cold. I could see snowflakes swirling through the windows of the speeding train. I knew my goal was near. 
We've reached our destination. As you see, the weather conditions here are rather harsh. The fuel cell's power was enough for a single trip. Uh, this means my journey ends here as well. I hope you find what you're looking for in this place. I hope so too. So, we are in frozen tears. Okay. More and more as we continue in this world, I'm more convinced that I'm actually in Niflheim, or better yet, Helheim, which is the Norse underworld, and with the woman queen who I nicknamed Hela, and not all this like frozen kind of cold place, it, I kind of believe more and more there's like a Norse theme to the thing. So, I don't think there's anything I have to do here. We can't take the train back, so time to say goodbye to the Karen train. Uh, I cannot believe I finally made it to the Frozen Tears. Starting the train was no easy task. Cool. Alright, so... Oh, it's the, uh... The little child Baphomet demon thing. My orders are not to let anyone in. Orders are orders. Talk to our commander. Alright, well I can't go in there. It seems. And is there anything else for me to kind of explore and look at? Just an old armchair, nothing of interest. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I can go in. And I don't have the key to get inside. Alright. Oh, wait. I, I see there's the statue of the woman that I need to uh, deal with. Okay, so I do need to get in there somehow, so we're going to find his commander. Oh, okay. Let's talk to this guy. Greetings, traveler. You probably seek the place of redemption, as do all who come here. Getting there is the smallest of problems. The real difficulty lies in awakening it. But let's not stay out here in the cold, please. Let me invite you to my humble home. Um... I don't know if I trust you, dude. I'll go to frozen water. Rat friend literally did this to that other guy. An old anvil, many blades have been forged here. Blacksmith's tools... And, uh, is there, like, other pathway I can go? I don't see any arrows, and I'm checking, so... Alright, let's go inside. Made it this far. The old book says that in order to awaken the sculpture on the hill, one must pierce its stone heart with a blade made with a metal from the stars. Obtaining this metal won't be easy, as it is valued highly by the villagers. Many fools have come and tried their luck before you. However, they paid no attention to the metal their blades were made of, and their negligence led to their demise. The required metal is one thing, but the shape of the sword is another matter. Here, my knowledge ends. A long time ago, I helped in the construction of a cathedral on the outskirt of the village. An old man lives there. I don't know if his stories come from his wisdom or madness, but he may be able to help you. You will start your search tomorrow. Tonight, you may sleep in my house. It will be dark soon, and it's better to stay inside after dark in these parts. I don't really trust this guy, but it seems I have no choice. The warmth of the fireplace brings peace. My eyelids become heavy. I hear a woman's voice in my dream, calling me. I run toward the sculpture, but rather than getting closer, it seems to get further and further away. Tired, I stop and examine at my hands. They are drenched in blood. Then the blacksmith's voice wakes me up. In the dead of night, the village is surrounded by paralyzing fog. It is not known who has caused this atrocious act. Soon after, knights from the castle come, bringing pain and destruction with them. Okay, so good to know. Don't walk around this area at night, because I do not want to have to go back to that castle. So, we have to go on that journey thing. We have to create a weapon in order to pierce those statues. So I gotta ask the old man from the cathedral about blueprints for a sword. And as for the metal, I have to look around the western part of the village. So that's our two missions. Find the blueprint, find the metal. First, we're gonna look around your house, because I didn't get a chance to the night before. So his bellows, rather not touch those. This looks like something I need to notice. 
This must be a sketch from back when the blacksmith helped build the cathedral. So this, the west side it seems to be smirking. And the east side seems to be sad. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write it down. I'm going to assume there's going to be a puzzle of sorts where I need to know this. Finally, I can warm myself up side of the fire. My hands are frozen stiff. No time to rest. My, I feel my goal is very near. I wonder if this means we're almost to the end of the game. Because I really don't have any other goals but after, until I get to the statue. Yeah, I get it. Okay, so it doesn't seem like there's anything in here. I probably missed it, but uh, we're going to keep going. Alright, so. I can't actually go into the statue because of the commander. So I presume uh, there has to be a pathway that I'm not seeing. Whoa. <gasps> Oh, right. The guard is dead, right? Because at night, the thing happens and the soul... Oh. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, buddy. That means I need to get the key. I don't actually need to deal with the commander. I just need to get the key. I see. Well, that sucks. Sorry to see that, buddy. So, need for me to go back. There's a lot of death and destruction in here. Uh, okay, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> we were attacked at dawn. <laughs> First came the fog. It slowed up movement and clouded our sight. Then came the flying machines. Knights in horned helmets. <coughs> They appeared out of nowhere. Before we realized what was happening, it was too late. Try to disperse the fog. <coughs> Find the mage inhabiting the catacombs on the hill and ask him for help. He will know what to do. <coughs> Take this key. It will... Open the gate. Wow. These knights do not play. So we got ourselves a key. I pick up the key to the gate. I can barely see it through the fog. And you're still alive? Yeah. Okay, so I have to get to the catacombs to find a mage there. And I think he can help me. So, it's too dangerous. I must first find a way to disperse the fog. So I can't actually get to the cathedral until I deal with the fog. So I have to deal, find this mage first. It's no ordinary fog. I will not take a chance. Damn. And it's too dangerous. So. I'm going to assume that the key I received will help me. This must be the hill they're talking about. So I'm going to assume that key is meant for that door. And it is. Okay, so... Of course, because, you know, it can't just be like a function, a regular lock. Alright, so, how does this work? Okay, I gotta, I guess I have to get that over there somehow. Okay, so I gotta move things around to, to allow that to go through. Okay. Does it seem pretty difficult? Kind of, but I'm sure I will figure it out. Okay, just a lot of finagling things about. Okay, I think I, I think I kind of like get it. All right, move this out of the way. Move this down. Move this across. There we go. Okay, it wasn't that difficult. So we have that out of the way. Now we can go up to the hill. Wow. Oh, that's like a that was. The all right. I'm, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna show you. I think that's like frozen water. I've gathered the blue flowers. Don't know their significance, but yeah, all of this is just water. I think yeah, and it's just frozen. It doesn't even look like it's frozen in ice. It's just like frozen in this weird time. The coffin is empty. I can't say I'm disappointed. Okay, am I gonna deal with a vampire? I feel like I'm about to deal with a vampire. So this is an interesting little contraption. The table is connected to some strange machinery. Hmm. Okay, what's in here? Okay, so I presume 
There is a large opening at the top. Looking down, I see rows of tiny blades. I presume I have to put the blue flowers in there, but I'm going to try to get the bearing of the entire puzzle first. You know what, maybe, well, it looks like I don't. I'm going to just put the flowers in and see if that works. Okay. The machine reacts, but apparently needs more flowers. Okay, so I have to collect, like, four flowers to do this. Okay, so we're going to move over to even deeper. And whoa, Nosferatu, what happened, to buddy? Okay. There's nothing here anymore. The stand is empty. What does the mage need all these coffins for? It's probably a necromancer. The mage's coffin. Okay. Oh no, they're just all his coffins. I'm presuming that's the mage. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I thought you were dead. <laughs> Shh. Be quiet. Don't make any noise or the dead will wake. They lurk in the darkness. This dude looks really cool. Awaiting that moment of weakness. I have my eye on them. I watch them through a hole in the wall. Ah, I see a new specimen. I have not seen this one here before. Let me summon him through the transcendence table. Prepare me an extract of from the flowers growing up on the hill. I need it to activate the table. Go now. This is of utmost importance. I must stay here and observe them. You will find one of the flowers needed to activate the table on the lectern beside you. Oh. Okay. Well, we have another flower. Uh, anything else in this room? It's empty. I don't know what that is. Alright, so I'm going to assume that we need to find two more flowers um, up on the hill. So I'm going to just drop the fl this flower here. There we got it. So let's go exploring the rest of the hill. So uh, let's head on up. And that's the woman statue. And there's the two other flowers. So uh, can I talk to these people? Whoa. Okay. God, this is... Okay. <laughs> One can read terrible disappointment on the wretch's face. Oh man. Sh should I mention that it's currently like 2 a.m. and all the lights are off. And um, so I'm already kind of in a very uh, panicky state, I suppose. Things will just jump on me. And this Again, this game isn't scary. It's just really creepy in terms of its art style, which I love, but it's... Uh, can't get to me. Oh, okay. And I, <laughs> I, I was, I was preparing myself for like a face, like a full body, but no, she's talking. Are you another one of those seeking redemption? I guess. Many have tried before you, as you see. Myself, I don't intend to end up like those fools around me. I have taken great care to craft the perfect sword. I can already feel its radiant glow purifying my body. The time of atonement is near. Let us cease to be a silent audience. May the spectacle finally begin. I see. Oh, I see there's a bunch of stores there, so a lot of people have been just, like, dealing with uh, the statue. I see a flower up there. I have to take a closer look. All right, let's get a little closer. I'm gonna grab the flower real quick. But it seems like this statue is what will grant me my redemption. At last, stone hands! The woman's statue in my dream was never so cruelly mutilated, though. That's for all the people who have tried to redeem themselves, obviously. So we need to create a sword um, that will let me do that as well. Alright, well we have all the flowers and I don't see anything else I can do. And I guess I will be joining that woman later. In our redemption. But first, let's uh, summon in the corpse thing. So we have two flowers. And we got them. Yeah, we got them all. Min's flower petals bring the transcendence table to life. Something's happening. I can't stop it now. Okay. <gasps> the jester! Oh! 
he just died. He was disposed of by the the queen. And I think it would have been the queen had I um, killed her. Wow. Huh? Where am I? What is this stench? Bound? Humiliated? My memory slowly begins to return. You! You freed the queen, and I was pronounced a traitor. I was buried alive. I did not deserve a punishment so cruel. Oh, wow. The last thing I remember is darkness. And now I'm here. How can this be? Fate once again crosses our paths, but now it is I who am imprisoned. It truly is the irony of fate. My life now in your hands. I beg of you, show mercy and release me. I have had my share of suffering. Oh, okay. So I have to make a decision on whether will I release him or will I kill him. Hmm, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. I, I want to release him. Like, I'm not evil, so ideally I would be releasing him from his torment. But he did try to go against the queen, so I would say that releasing him is evil? But, I don't know, um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and save him because I think he, uh, I think he's gone through enough suffering and I just didn't really want any of them to be dead. So we're going to release him. Uh, you chose well to free me. I am not the man you met anymore. While my body appears the same, my soul has experienced what may be called a catharsis. Thanks to you, I understand that darkness is in the opposite of light, but is in fact its cradle. For it is only from darkness that light can be born. It is best to part ways in dignity. Even though I did wrong in the past, please let me say farewell in such a manner. No problem. Well, see you, clown dude. Jester man, I hope you uh, have a good life in all this place. I can hear that you have activated the Transcendence Table. I hope you did not tinker with it. Um, no. It is a very delicate apparatus and can easily summon a malevolent being. Before I proceed to the table, please tell me why you come here. You speak of a paralyzing fog enshrouding the foot of the mountain. I believe I know what might help you. Take this powder and throw it against the fog. It may not bring back the dead, but it will clear your way. Alright, well, thank you. I'm going to take that bag. And uh, I've taken the magic powder. Will it really disperse the fog? I can only hope so. Um, I hope he doesn't get mad at me. I hope I don't need anything else from him because I totally let go of the body he was going to use. Well, yeah, it doesn't look like the bars of... Yeah, I can't go back into the catacombs. So, we should be done with him. So let's head on back and let's deal with this fog. Okay, skeleton, our little friend is dead. But we're going to throw the fog out there. The fog is starting to disperse. The mage's powder works. Excellent, so uh, I don't even know what half of these things are. I like I don't know what this giant thing is. But we have two pathways we can go. We can either go to the village to get the material, or we can go and deal with the blueprints. And I think we're gonna head to the cathedral and try to get the blueprints first. Alright, well glad I'm greeted with a locked door. <laughs> uh let's see here. Oh, okay, maybe this is what I have to I have to change that to match up that picture, so um, smiley eyes with bearing teeth. So let's get the bearing teeth. There we go. It's bearing teeth. And his eyes are like that. Okay. 
And then the other face looks like kind of banana mouth and like sharp eyes. Let me see. I think that's it. And let me get the sharp eyes. I think this is it. Nothing's activating, so I'm pretty sure I'm not doing something right. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, wait. Maybe I'm looking at the building wrong. Maybe I'm, I, because I'm looking as west. Alright, let me actually head back for a second. Let me look at the building. Okay. So, the left side is the side with the actual, uh, what do you call it? Um, the giant tower. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at it correctly. So, I am clearly doing something here wrong. So, let's look at it again. Can I change the top? Oh, okay. I have to change the top as well. Okay, that's why. So, the top design are like these... They're like square doors. This. Okay. Okay, so I got that design correct. And now I have to do the same for this one. Now this one has... I think the bottom has to change. There we go. Okay. Alright, so I I just didn't realize I had to do the top and the bottom as well. So there are down, and I presume this is going to open the door? It does, so uh, I don't see anything else that I can interact with with the outside. Constructing of such a cathedral must have taken ages. Ages and a lot of uh, slaves, probably. Okay, so we're here to get a blueprint of sorts. Oh, wow. A portrait of some poor, sick soul. Okay. The painting depicts skeletons riding carts. Hmm. Interesting. What's over here? Dark figure with a scythe. Desolation after a fire. Ooh. People heading towards a cathedral. Okay. A lot of little things happening here. A strange building. More paintings over here. We got ourselves people crossing some unsettling arches. We have... I see a person at the bottom gazing upon something colossal. Huh. Balloon over the ruins of a city. Structure of some sort. A grotesque face set in a twisted grin. Like heaven connected to earth. And finally, a winged man. Oh, wait a minute. This looks like me. Oh. Did I do something really bad? Okay, so that was a lot to take in. There's a bunch of little pa paintings of a bunch of stuff that's happening. Um, interesting. So, I think we're going to end the episode here. So, in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this tower. Figure out the puzzles that we need to solve for this tower. It looks like there's a lot of painting, a lot of backstory stuff that's happening here. Uh, but we need to end up some way to get a blueprint. And then we'll head over to the village get the material, and then we should hopefully be almost done with the game. Um, or at least deal with whatever issue we have with the statue. So, I'm not actually sure how long this game is, but I feel like we're almost there. So, anyway, thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give a, a thumbs up below, and if you have any comments, anything you want to tell me, uh, suggestions, stuff like that, uh, please leave them in the comments below. If you want to play the game, I will have links to the uh, developer Ono oh Studios website as well as their Steam page in the description below. And uh, if you want more of my content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will be releasing uh, at, least, at the very least Let's Plays on a daily basis from Monday through Friday, and I'll have other content being generated as well. And if you're not already doing so, please follow me on Twitter. I haven't been saying that in the past, but yes, I will have my Twitter in the description below as well. Please follow me on Twitter. I will usually let people know through my Twitter when my episodes are up. So if you don't actually have, you're not actually subscribed, but you don't have any notification, you can find out when I have an episode up on my Twitter. And 
I also just start talking about a bunch of random things, uh, video game related, comic related, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Take care.